I come from a big baking family. Okay. Yes, yeah, so for us, food is love, and especially so in the holidays. So we love giving food away as gifts. Okay, uh, Claire, I'll be helping you out. You tell us what we're making and what I can do to help. Absolutely. So we are making a gingerbread skillet cake. Okay, I'm in. Love That's a skillet cake. Yes. I'm in. So this is actually really simple. It looks like we have a lot of stuff here, but mm -hmm. basically I'm emptying out my pantry. Okay. Well, that's that's the thing. It's all delicious spices. So I'm going to do putting together the dry ingredients. You're going to be doing the wet. Mm -hmm. So first, you're going to be doing the sugars. Uh, so brown sugar, white sugar, softening with some butter. Okay. And then over here with my dry ingredients, I have all-purpose flour, a little bit of baking soda, crystallized ginger. So that Ooh, really good ginger yes. flavor. That's fun. A it's in my pantry. It's the best. I love it. And then a little bit of the orange zest. And then for our spices, we have cloves, ginger, and cinnamon. Wow. So very oh. delicious. And then, of course, a little bit of salt. So I'm just going to whisk this all together. The key ingredient here, you're kind of getting to it. We have eggs, milk, and then the molasses. OK. Mm -hmm. Oh, molasses. The molasses. I'm going to let you kind of put some elbow grease into oh, yeah. that. So while you're working on that, I'm going to get the cast iron skillet ready. All right, all right. So I've got a little 8-inch cast iron skillet. I'm going to butter and flour it. This is to make sure you don't end up with a cake that's, you know, basically stuck in the pan, because that's mm -hmm. depressing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let you kind of barely bring that together. You okay. don't want to overwork the no. flour. You just pour it right in. Oh, look at that. It smells It already. smells, seriously, like, no, I mean, so deep and rich. So this is going in the oven at 350 for about 25 to 35 minutes. Got to do oh, the yeah. icing. So this is actually going a step further. This is like mega, mega holiday cake, because not only is it a gingerbread cake, we're doing eggnog royal icing on it. <gasps> oh, man. Yes. Putting all the buttons. One egg white, so some rum. A little bit of bourbon. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, the whole bar. I like my eggnog with both. I got some cloves, mm. nutmeg, mm. quite a bit of nutmeg, some vanilla extract, because I just love that flavor, some cream of tartar just to kind of hold everything together, okay. and then some salt. All right. Oh, got to have it. Got to have some salt. There we go. So now you're going to whip this together. All right. And then as needed, adding some more of the powdered sugar and the cream. Meanwhile, I'm going to start getting this ready to give away as a gift. So I have here the finished sauce. So this is just going to pour on top. Really beautiful. You do that when it's warm, Claire? I like it when it's warm. Yeah. I mean, if you want that really beautiful kind of thin coat glaze. So it goes into the cake more, yeah, right? Yeah, it soaks in. I mean, to be honest, because of the molasses, the cake's already so moist. It doesn't need a ton of help, but it does. I think it improves the flavor a lot. All right, so mm. this is now just gonna, I'm just oh. gonna help it along a little bit. It's so shiny. It is, I'm it just is done talking. It's the, well that's honestly coming from the egg white. The egg white helps give it that sheen, it kind of holds oh. it all together. Very pretty. All right, so while this is kind of doing its thing, slow motion glazing. Slow motion Slow glazing. motion. That's the next <laughs> internet craze, slow motion. It's the new, it's the new oh, planking. Oh, look, look at that! that. Yeah. Pretty cute.